What is going on everybody? It's your boy Will and I'm back to do my reaction to the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer number two. And this one has a spoiler warning from myself and from Sony Pictures Entertainment because this one does reveal what happened in Endgame and what will take place in the movie. So if you have not watched Avengers Endgame, A, why have you not watched it yet? B, please stop this video, go see Endgame. It's three hours, so, you know, enjoy it. And then go watch the official video first from Sony Pictures Entertainment. Watch them first. And then come back and watch my reaction to this lovely trailer. So, with that being said, let us watch the trailer. I haven't seen it. Let's get it going. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame Here's yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. Everywhere Sorry, I go, spider suit. I nice. see his face. Oh. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. Oh, damn. Yeah, they just straight up talk. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. Oh, okay, nice. He still has the Iron Spider suit. That's cool. You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. What? Oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> keep up the good work. Because I am going on vacation. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. Answer the phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. <laughs> what up, dorks? What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh, I think MJ really likes me. That reminds me when I first fell in love. Okay, this was in the first one. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. Oh, shit. Okay. This is Mr. Beck. We could use someone like you on my world. Your world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. The snap to our hole in our dimension. Oh. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do, and you're coming with us. Multiverse. There's got to be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Okay, sell suit. Bitch, please, you've been to space. <laughs> like, Bitch, please, you've been to space. I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. I still and think Mysterio is bullshit. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You're right, you may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. I'm not buying it. Oh my god. I just always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? Shit. Spider-Man? You work for Spider-Man? <laughs> I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. New plan! <laughs> oh, okay, it's July 2nd. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, well, yeah, no, that, that... Spoiled... Everything from Endgame. So, obvious spoiler warning if you are still with me on this video. In, in Avengers Endgame, Iron Man Tony Stark does pass away. He dies defeating Thanos. And so this trailer really highlights the, the sacrifice that Iron Man makes as well as the effect that it has on Peter, of all people. And on Happy, too, which is it's nice to, that he's... He's at least able to be there with Peter to share in that grief a little bit. And it does highlight the fact that there is no more Iron Man in the MCU. And what does that mean? Who's going to step up and be that new lead hero? And it's leaning towards it's going to be Peter, but I, I don't think it's going to be Peter. I think it'll be somebody else. Um, I do like some of the... Call, the I, I like the shout outs to Thor and to Captain Marvel. and like, they're not here. And I'm very surprised that they're really leaning heavily into, yeah, the snap ripped a hole in space and we do have a multiverse now. I don't know how much I buy that or not because the multiverse has kind of been there already. 
But if they're saying that Mysterio is from an alternate Earth, that's an interesting way of propelling the MCU into the next four or five years and maybe we'll get Secret Wars. I still think it might be kind of a... I, I, I think it's a plot by Mysterio. I don't buy that Mysterio is there to help. It, it, I, I just don't buy it. And from the character in the comics, it's easy to see why. I love the visuals. I'm glad he still has the Iron Spider suit, but I'm glad he goes back to the, just the, the basic Stark Tech suit. We got a, a shot of the stealth suit, which looked really good. It looks like it's gonna be good. It, I, I'm, I'm glad they gave the spoiler warning because yeah, if you didn't see Endgame and you just watched this off the bat, they just spoiled the entire ending of, ending of the movie. And they, it does kind of confirm that all of his classmates were snapped with him. So that's why they're all the same age because this does take place in 2023, which is the year that Endgame takes place on. Yeah, we're dealing with a five year jump. I'm wondering how, how much of the movie will be devoted to the kids kind of talking with each other. If they're saying sort of support group for people who were snapped and all, all of a sudden came back. It'll be interesting to see. I'm glad they've kind of said this is what's closing out phase three instead of Endgame, but I always feel weird when an Avengers movie doesn't close out that particular phase of movies. But it makes sense. This is kind of like an epilogue to Endgame to kind of what the world is like now that Tony Stark is no longer with us. And it's 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 going to be a good movie. I'm excited. I'm really excited for this one. I, I think Mysterio's costume looks freaking amazing. I'm so happy with the design of it. I'm, I'm just pumped for the movie. I'm glad it's coming out in July. And that we still don't know anything else beyond this. So, super excited. Super excited. Super excited. I'm going to watch it again few more times just to kind of take it all in a little bit more that makes sense take it all in I don't know but question of the day have you seen the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer what did you think about it have you seen Endgame what did you think about Endgame I have plans on doing my spoiler review video for Endgame I have a non-spoiler review up link will be in the description below I also have two other Marvel videos that I'm working on. I just haven't had a chance to record them yet. Life, work, slight depression, whole nine yards. Anyway, whatever you thought, whatever you want to talk about, comment down below. Let me know. As always, I'll catch you next time. And thanks for watching. As always, guys. I really appreciate it. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. And you made it all the way to the end. Aren't you special? If you did like this video, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up on the description. As well, if you click on my face right over here, you can actually subscribe to the channel for more videos. And if you've got a few minutes, why don't you check out a video or two that are floating on the side right here. Later.